Hi guys, I'm Kay with ispeakspokespoken.com and you can download these slides and a quiz to make sure that you've learned everything that we're going to cover today. So in these slides, we're looking at the most important English linking words. So linking words are words that we use to connect ideas to make English communication more cohesive and more coherent. And you'll want to keep these words in mind, especially if you want to focus on making your writing in English even better. So we're going to be looking at linking words under the category of addition, contrast, cause and effect, condition, purpose, and of course, conclusion at the end. So let's start with linking words of addition. You've probably heard this before, and it's the simplest way to add information. For example, I went to the store and then I went to the library. And here, library, we have the emphasis on the first syllable, library, library. Good. So next we have moreover, and we have the primary emphasis on the second syllable, moreover. So we use this to um, connect information to the previous point, but also to add emphasis. For example, he's a great teacher. Moreover, his methods are innovative. So you're adding more information and you're emphasizing that he's a great teacher. Next, we have furthermore. Furthermore has the emphasis on the first syllable, furthermore. So it's similar to moreover, but it's used in a more formal context. For example, the plan was sound. Furthermore, it was executed flawlessly. So here's sound, it's not like sound. In this case, it means that the plan was well thought out and it wasn't missing any details. So that's why we're um, using this linking word. Furthermore, it was executed flawlessly. And next we have in addition. So this is used to add information in a more formal way. And we can look at the example, the company is expanding its operations. In addition, it plans to hire more staff. Okay, so the next category of linking words that we'll look at are contrast linking words. Of course, you've heard this word before, but it introduces a contrast or an exception. For example, I wanted to buy the dress, but it was too expensive. So even though I wanted to do something, too bad, in contrast, or the exception is I didn't have the money for it. It was too expensive. So next we have however, with emphasis on the second syllable, however, and we use this to introduce a statement that contrasts with something that we just said before. For example, he was early to the meeting. However, everyone else was late. So even though he was early, it didn't matter because in contrast, everyone else was late. Next we have, on the other hand, and we use this when we're talking about a contrasting idea or perspective. So for example, the movie received critical acclaim. On the other hand, some viewers found it boring. So critical acclaim, we have emphasis on the second syllable, acclaim, and critical acclaim is like praise or a positive review of something. So even though the movie received critical acclaim or a positive review, on the other hand, so in contrast, some viewers found it boring. They didn't like it. And next we have nevertheless. Nevertheless, we have the emphasis on the last syllable, nevertheless. So this means that despite something, the overall situation is unchanged. For example, the trip was expensive. Nevertheless, it was worth every penny. So even though the trip costs so much money, it was worth it and it doesn't matter how expensive it was. So you can click on the I here in the upper right hand corner to download these slides and a quiz that you can take to test your knowledge on everything that we've covered today. And if you don't see it here, you can click on the link in the description below. Okay, so back to linking words. We're going to look at cause and effect linking words. So here we have because, and we have emphasis on the second syllable, because. So this shows us the reason for something. For example, she took a day off because she was sick. Why did she take a day off? The reason is she was sick. So next we have therefore, 
and the emphasis is on the first syllable, therefore, and this indicates that there is a consequence or a result for something. For example, it started to rain, therefore, the match was postponed. So postponed means it was scheduled again for a later, later time. So it started to rain, therefore, so the consequence or the result of the rain is that the match was postponed or scheduled for later. Okay, and we have as a result. A result has the emphasis on the second syllable, result. It's similar to therefore, but we usually use it to start a new sentence. For example, he didn't study for the exam. As a result, he failed. So he didn't study for the exam. We have emphasis on the second syllable, exam. Good. So we're starting the new sentence with as a result, he failed. And so again, we're showing the consequence or showing the result just like therefore. So he didn't study for the exam, the consequence or the result, he failed. And we're starting the new sentence with as a result. Next we have consequently. Consequently has emphasis on the first syllable and it means that one thing is the result of another. For example, the company failed to invest in new technology. Consequently, it lost its competitive edge. So the company failed to invest, emphasis on the second syllable, invest, invest in new technology. Technology has emphasis on the second syllable, technology, technology. Consequently, it lost its competitive edge. We have the emphasis here on the second syllable, competitive, competitive, good. So, consequently means that one thing is the result of the other. So the company failed to invest. It means the company didn't put any money in new technology. So the consequence is that it lost its competitive edge. It means it was losing in the competition compared to other companies. The next uh, important linking words that we have are linking words of condition. We have if, which introduces a conditional situation. For example, if it rains, the picnic will be canceled. Picnic has emphasis on the first syllable. Picnic, picnic, good. So this is the conditional situation. If it rains, the picnic will be canceled. So if we have one thing, then we have another. If there's rain, the picnic is canceled. If there's no rain, the picnic's not canceled. Next, we have unless with emphasis on the second syllable, unless, unless. And this means that something will happen unless another thing happens. For example, you will not succeed unless you work hard. So succeed has emphasis on the second syllable, succeed, succeed. So you will not succeed unless you work hard. So this means that you have to work hard if you want to succeed. And you will not succeed if you don't work hard. And next we have provided that. And this means that something will happen, but only if a certain condition is met first. For example, you can go to the party, provided that you finish your homework first. So finish, we have emphasis on the first syllable, finish, finish. And homework, we have emphasis on the first syllable, homework, homework. So you can go to the party, provided that, which means only if you finish your homework first. So if you don't finish your homework first, you can't go to the party. Next, we have linking words of purpose. Let's start with so that. We use this word to introduce a purpose or a reason. For example, he saved money so that he could buy a new car. So we're introducing the purpose or the reason here. Why is he saving money? So he can buy a new car. Next, we can look at in order to. It's similar to so that, but it's used more often in formal contexts. For example, she took a course in marketing in order to improve her skills. Order has emphasis on the first syllable, order, order. 
And improve has emphasis on the second syllable. Improve, improve, good. So it's similar to so that. She took a course in marketing in order to improve her skills. So the reason that she took her course in marketing was so that she would improve her skills. Okay, so in conclusion to these slides on linking words, let's look at linking words of conclusion. So in conclusion, with emphasis on the second syllable, conclusion, conclusion. We use this to show that we are ending the discussion and we're summarizing the main points. And this is normally used in a more formal context. For example, in conclusion, linking words are essential for effective communication. Effective has an emphasis on the second syllable, effective, effective. So we're ending the discussion on linking words in conclusion. Linking words are essential for effective communication. Effective communication, in summary, is what these slides have all been about. So next we have to sum up, which is similar to in conclusion, but it's a bit less formal. And it can be used to imply a shorter summary. For example, to sum up, practice using these linking words to enhance your writing. Practice has emphasis on the first syllable. Let's practice. Practice. Good. And enhance has emphasis on the second syllable. Enhance. Enhance. One more time. To sum up, practice using these linking words to enhance your writing. So as long as you keep this conclusion in mind, then you will be improving your English communication in no time. And don't forget, you can download these slides and a quiz to practice everything that we've covered today.